I will be focusing on wearable styles within these scarves. Hi guys and welcome or welcome back. My name is May, also known as Mrs. Leiva. For the most part, we definitely talk about handbags on this channel. I love sharing a few unboxings from time to time. However, today I do have a styling video for you guys. Summer is in full effect at the moment and I love incorporating scarves as tops. I have shared various pictures over on my Instagram in regards to certain styles which I have done and every time I do so you guys want to see shorts or reels and things like that. Even though I love doing like really fast format sort of videos in order to share with you guys how it is that I get the top styled, I thought that I would do a dedicated video and share with you guys five different ways in which I will be incorporating the 90 by 90 scarves. The two that I will be sharing today are from Hermes. However, these scarves are offered by so many different retailers. You do have really well-made ones, 100% silk, like the Hermes ones in other retailers as well. But then you also have very affordable options. So I will have various ones linked down below for you guys at different price points in case you wanted to add one or two into your collection in order to recreate these styles. I'm going to start with the first option, which honestly is probably my favorite. You're going to grab two 90 by 90 scarves. These two are in different patterns, but you can choose the same pattern if you wanted to. And then what you're going to do is tie both of the ends of the scarves together. So I do a double knot for better security. And then once you have that little knot, you're going to go ahead and place that specific knot over your shoulder. And now you're gonna grab the front scarf and cinch it up a little bit in order to the length that you feel comfortable for sort of a top. And then you're just gonna go ahead and tie a knot behind you. Once you've tied that knot, then you're gonna get the scarf from the back and do the same thing. So just cinch it up a little bit to the length that you prefer. And now you're gonna go ahead and tie the same knot in the front part. And then now all I'm gonna do is grab the excess fabric from the front knot in order to hide that bow that I made with the back scarf as I brought it forward. You can go ahead and play around with it a little bit, make it shorter or longer, hide it a little bit more or a little bit less and now you have yourself a super cute top i personally love the different prints in the scarves i think it adds a little bit of a fun touch especially for a resort but if you wanted to wear this for a night out of town i think you could also do the same print for the second style, it is very simple. We're just gonna go with one of the scarves and then what we're gonna do is fold it into a triangle shape. As you can see here, then what you're gonna do is grab the center of the triangle on the folded end and kind of let it fall like this and now you're just going to tie a very sturdy hard knot once you have that it causes that ruching effect in the center which is what's going to add a little bit of a styling aspect to the blouse as you saw i tied both ends at the top and then what i'm doing now is tying the other two ends on my back just play around with the top as you wish i tucked in the neck a little bit just to show off my neck a little bit more but you can also leave it tucked out and what I love about this style in particular is you can easily transition it into the office by throwing over a jacket or a blazer. I went with a pop of color, but this would be great with a black blazer as well. Style number three is going to require an extra piece of accessory. I opted to get a chunky necklace and then I'm going to fold one scarf again into that triangle shape. Then the two ends of the triangle, I'm going to go ahead and tie them around the necklace as seen here. This is going to allow for me to then be able to move the scarf down, causing this kind of little ruching effect around the neckline. And then very simple afterwards, just cinch in the scarf to the length of your preference and go ahead and tie it in the back in order to make it look like a little bit of a triangle top. I love this style. It's so easy to wear, even just going out for maybe a brunch or a little breakfast date. You can easily style it with pants and shorts and I really like the touch of the neckline with the added necklace. Another favorite of mine is this one. Again, we're just going to need one of those scarves and then we're going to tie together two of the ends of the scarf. 
And then that little hole that it's going to make, you're gonna loop it and throw it over your shoulder. You're then going to grab sort of like the sides of the other end of the scarf, and then you're gonna again tie it with a double knot on the side. Here I am showing you how it looks and then I go ahead and remove my bra because we don't want that extra bra showing. You can maybe wear a bandeau if it makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. But then here you have what that side will look like. I loved how this one turned out. I really like the ruching on the side that it gives when you put it over your shoulder. The back is super cute and I really like it with a bold print like I have on this scarf. And then this side is just a little bit of an extra sexy touch. All right, let's get into probably my favorite, but the most complicated one. We're gonna use one scarf. You're gonna fold it in half as a triangle shape, and then you're gonna go ahead and double knot those two ends. That big loop that you go ahead and make, you're gonna put your head through there, and now we're gonna grab a chain for a little bit of extra detail. I slowed this down because I wanted you guys to be able to see the process. You're gonna bring that chain around your back, and then the two ends of the chain, you're going to go ahead and put them through that hole, kind of like that cow neck hole that the scarf made once you put it over your head both of the ends of the chain are in that hole you're gonna go ahead and pull those ends around your body bringing them all the way towards your back and that's what's gonna give the top that pretty look in the front once you bring it around your back then you're going to grab each end of the chain and hook it in the opposite corner of the chain. So I'm kind of showing you guys here how I do that, but you're going to grab the lobster clasp and you're going to hook it to one of the loops at the other end. The fact that I chose a longer chain, it allowed me to bring the ends of the lobster clasp all the way to the beginning of where the chain is in the scarf. However, you can also opt to go with a shorter length of a chain and then it'll allow you to maybe hook both of the lobster clasps right at the middle so you won't have so much excess chain to play around with. Here's what it should look like at the end and it'll definitely secure the top. It's not going anywhere. I love the chain detail at the back and that square neckline is really a favorite of mine. All right, guys, so that does it for this styling kind of video. Let me know down below if you enjoy these types of videos. And if you do, I would really, really appreciate it if you shared it or kind of sent it over to a friend that would also enjoy the video. Also, I would love to hear which one was your favorite out of the five kind of scarf top styles that I shared with you today. As always, I appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to watch, and I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.